up everybody, my name is Scarecrow Monster and welcome back to the Sinking City. Now before I start this, I actually recorded a Sinking City video yesterday explaining why I was gone so long and all that, but guess what? As I was editing it, my voice didn't come through it at all. So now, I'm very much scared <laughs> that it's gonna do the same one in this one, I'm hoping it's not, I tested it out, it seemed like my voice is working. So, yeah. Okay, first off, explaining why I was gone so long. The reason I was gone so long... Okay, also, I was sick. So, if I'm talking, and I do sound a bit nasally and everything, I think it's just because, I don't know, for some reason I might still have a nasal drip or something. I'm not 100% sure. TMI, sorry about that. <clears throat> but that's why I might sound a bit weird. Um, the other reason I was gone so long is because I had a weird thing with recording. I felt like I didn't want to record anymore and some weird stuff like that so I was just working through that but I think it was the game I was playing I think I was playing too much of Elden Ring that it got bored to me well boring to me and it got like kind of weirdly stuck and depressive in a weird way so I decided to move along to something else like the Sinking City again and recording it yesterday I actually had a lot of fun even though those recording was scrapped because there was no voice with it so yeah other than that we're back with the Sinking City and we are going to carry on with the main mission, the main case, I mean the last video, well the video that you guys haven't seen, we did a side case where we went to track down Robert Throgmorton's father's first wife, who stole a mirror, whose son was trapped in the mirror, whose son is now reborn because the son died, it was a really weird case, but we didn't unlock anything cool about it, it was just like a cool story, but you know, I do apologize for that, but we're going to carry on with the main case now, so yeah, buckle up. I'm gonna get right into it. Alright, also in the last um, video I asked you guys, well, again, last video was never gonna be happen now, but I asked you guys if you guys wanna see, like, in the beginning of each episode, me doing a page of this, like the letters of Oakmont. All up to you guys. If you guys don't wanna see it, I can, you know, I can do it in one video, or I could just do it in my spare time, but I was thinking maybe doing, like, a, um, a letter each beginning of the video, end of the vid. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that guy up to you guys to you tell me. Anyway, we're going to do quid pro kill. Anyway, Throgmort's expedition was attacked in the depths beneath Oakmont. Professor Harriet Doe, expedition leader, was captured. The others were all left to die. The attackers all had distinctly fish-like features, Innsmouther syndrome as the locals call it. One of the assistants was killed in the fight he carried a, um, a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. This can't be the only attack um, they have carried out. This, there must be evidence or more of such crimes throughout the city. All right, cool. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go to the police station for that. We had to do a lot of this in the um, last case that I did, which again, you guys will not see. I'm really, really pissed, but whatever. It is, that's just the thing it is. Uh, also, the uh, Plague Doctor outfit, you guys remember we got that from checking out all the uh studying all the wild beasts so very happy about that i actually do like this um outfit i actually did the whole game uh whole case with it on yesterday uh, making jokes that i'm a plague doctor and the plague doctors yep i'll probably make the same jokes just so it can be funny anyway let's carry on hello officer yeah in the last episode this officer also i'm just i'm just gonna say the last video the last video this officer also gave me some shit he was like oh you made us look bad and oh you you suck and i was just like well if you if you just did your job better, I wouldn't have to make you look bad. Anyway. The Blake Doctor strikes again! <laughs> anyway, uh, Throgmont's expedition was attacked in the depths beneath Oakmont. How do I... Depths beneath Oakmont. There's not really... Any way to do that here. So, I'm just gonna... Probably do violent crimes. Um, maybe witnesses would do good, and instrument of crime. Yeah, it's probably that we found. We found the dagger and the other thing, didn't we? Okay, no, so maybe suspects. There we go. Okay, at about 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchid Avenue and Holy Fire Inn, uh, Holy Fire Lane, um, I apprehended, I apprehended a suspicious looking inn's mother um, as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Seized. As well as a dagger. Seized. 
The suspect uh, resisted arrest when I tried to cuff him. He cried for help, screaming for his brothers from EOD, or EOD. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from um, from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. LT Phelps. Damn. Okay. Uh, from his task. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's probably place it on the map then. Okay, where is it? The fish market located in Eastern Shells. Q, let us go! Plague Doctor away! Wrong, wrong place to go, wrong place to go. Plague Doctor. Oh, God. <laughs> Plague Doctor away! Actually, we don't need to take fast travel station, we're actually pretty close. Look, uh, close. Yeah, it's right here. Cool. Man. Back in the sinking city. Oh my god. Back in the sinking city. I missed this game. Honestly, I did miss it. In the last video I made, I kept saying oh, I missed it, and now I'm actually happy playing it again. Because it's a fun game. Honestly, it's not as popular as a game. But again, it's a really fun game and I enjoy playing it. Wow! And plus, well, who wouldn't want to play this game if you like like a cool plague doctor? I can't dri drive a boat apparently. Oh shit. Uh, must I? Okay. Alright, the corner. Hey, new location, fish market. Oh, is this the fish market? Uh, okay, I see, I see. For Hello, I've got some questions fish? Uh, for you. Fresh fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Don't, don't, don't call me fucking Charlie. Don't, don't call me Charlie. Uh, tell me about the EOD. What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do... We try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Don't call me Charlie. Ah, uh, yeah, no, don't call me Charlie. It's Charles, not Charlie. Oh, but you're too sweet to be a Charles. Your adorable, rugged hangdog look just screams Charlie to me. Puts a smile on my face. I will oh, shoot you. Fine. No, not fine. I will shoot you. Um, okay, well, you guys sound like a nice organization, just helping people, feeding them, clearing up the lobbies. Okay, I mean... But, uh, where are your super... super, super, super okay, fucking last video, I couldn't read it all. Here it comes again. It's been great chatting with you, but... I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find him? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Charles. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. Charles. It's fucking Charles. <laughs> um... What does EOD mean? What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other. But we dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. Okay. Uh, what do I receive something for the rank? Do I receive bullets? So, uh, 
Are there any benefits for joining the EOD? We don't do this for money, Charlie. Okay, I'm not in, I'm out. We do this because it's the right thing to do. No, it's not. I don't believe you guys Think of it as working towards a higher purpose. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. What do I need to do? How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. And ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. <laughs> sail somewhere? Uh, you need me to sail somewhere? I have a boat. As much as I'd love to go sailing with you, I actually had something else in mind. I mean, girl, you can come sail with me. Just don't call me Charlie. <laughs> what job? Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Okay, just don't call me Charlie. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Okay, bye. See you later. I guess so. Jesus Christ, new mind palace clues. Great. Fuck me. Call me fucking Charlie. Okay, Oakman is starving, EOD is giving away fish. So these two probably go together. Yeah, the EOD um, helps prevent famine. Without the fish provided by the EOD, the city's at risk of famine. I mean, that sounds like a good cause, so, you know. Anna is a representative of the OD from the fish market, asked me to investigate a robbery of the fish storage in which they store their fish. It is located in the shells on Hawking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Uh, I will need to tell the guard the passphrase, I serve the sea to gain entrance. Alright. No, oh wait. Uh, let's just take this away. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, Western of Shells on, um, Liberty, on Hawking Lane. Okay, here we go. Between Liberty Road and Warren Road, okay. There's a go. I don't 100% believe that the EOD is all nice. Maybe she thinks it is, and, I don't know. It's like the Empire from Star Wars. Everyone thinks they're helping, but then, you know, they're actually not the best. I don't know, there's been a lot of videos out that the Empire, the good guys and everything, I haven't watched them yet. Anybody been watching the Kenobi series, by the way, of Star Wars? That, that series has been slapping. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. That's an infested area. Yeah. Okay. It's probably just got to run for it, okay. I just gotta run for it. Okay, just gotta run for it. Just go, 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 just go. Maybe check what this is quickly. Nothing? Okay. Get get out of here! Cool. Hey man. You got business here. Uh I serve the sea. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. See be praised. Finally, I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Um, why all the secrets? What's the deal with the the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. Fair enough. Tell me what happened. Can here. you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, 
Why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's is, a bit of a puzzle. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Um, can you describe the burglar? What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting <laughs> off the top of his head. Um, did he steal it? Something? What did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, any idea where he went? Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. Cool, it's definitely not me, because I run slow as fuck. Alright, well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Uh, same to you, man. Same to you, man. The force good. I don't know. Fuck, whatever. Uh, okay, so that's the EOD symbol puncher. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Jesus Christ. Imagine being at the other end of that. Ugh. No, thank you, sir. The hall's fresh. Still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Okay, okay, okay. So, normal fish market or fish storage here. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Oh, no mind if I do. Nice, okay. I uh, can probably go downstairs as well. Uh, I already checked that. What's that? Okay, that's nothing. I've seen a lot of those. Appistead is up. Oh, hi. Any more? I hear some more. I hear more grizzlies. Oh, hi. Oh, you little. Oh my god. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, there's more. Nope. Fuck off. There we go. Cool. Cool. There we go. Happy that was sorted out. Ew, gross. That's gross, but okay. Uh, alcohol. Ooh, can I make some more medkits? I can. So I can't make any of these. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Hey, I've been seeing a lot of those boats everywhere. Is it him that's been making it? A lot of those boats have been scattered around the city. That's a big ass whatever that is. Okay, well, sir, you also had a uh, wild beast in your facility. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you uh, do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like a tall, grass, a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kind of remind you that we still await your visit. All of our staff and, of course, the children are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able with eternal gratitude. Administration of Oakmont St. Jerome's Orphanage. Yeah, no. He's the one that's been making these things. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. We finally get to meet him who makes all those things. Because I always wonder, like, <laughs> who's been making all these things? Can't interact with that, can't interact with those, can't interact with that. Okay, okay. Just a checking. The plague doctor leaves nothing unfolded. Oh. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. Could be dangerous. Question is, why the hell is it in the, in the fishes? That's a bit, like, you know, weird. Oh. 
Hey. This thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. I don't even know what that is. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. Mm. I thought something was weird. Especially when, as I, I like, I was like, ah, oh, nah, probably not. But when I saw that, uh, that little weird thing in the, uh... Oh, there we go, retrocognition. When I saw that little weird, um... A vowel in the fish, then I was like, ooh, something doesn't look... Something doesn't look right here. Oh, what the fuck? I'm in a game, you don't look right here. Where was that big place I could fall down from? Oh, it was probably here. I'm just gonna... Uh, okay, I guess I can't. Alright, I guess I'll take the stairs. Have I seen everything here? What? Why? What? Oh, here we go. Damn it, Jesus Christ, the music was just like BOOM! I have questions. Jesus. It's like a torturing room, dude. Okay. Strange. Really strange. Okay. I'm gonna assume that was nothing. Probably is something. I've got questions still about the OD. Just a little bit more. Okay. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Westerbrook, isn't that the scientist guy? Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Okay. Is that not it? Oh, no, there's more. Okay. Up here, there's something. Darn pests! Mare, take them! Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This seems pretty simple. So, first off, he was checking out the fish. Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little. He bit made a ruckus. Oh, no. That, um, that got Grimes being like, what the fuck? Darn pests! Mayor, take them! And then he shot at them. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. There we go. Man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, and then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Okay, so it wasn't the EOD that was poisoned the fish, it was, uh... Hey, all elements collected. Nice. Now we go to the mine palace and put some stuff together. Okay. Uh, lab flask, a secret chamber. Uh, okay, lab flask, and I mentioned the professor has to go with. Yeah. Uh, the poisoner and the university. A man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. Okay. EOD is given away free fish. Uh, the fish is poisonous. I don't think anything goes with this, right? Oh, yes. Okay. The poison of fish is spreading. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish had already been uh, distributed to the city's poorer citizens. So what, half the place is already, like, poisoned? And then the secret chamber in the warehouse, which I don't know anything about yet. Okay! An old shiny key from the OD fish storage. And then, um, a man broke into the storage and knows the fish are and poison or something, so God lose the noise and chased him out. And then, uh, I need to go to the university. Alright. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Quartered? Anna will quarter you. You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. 
Anna. She's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Hmm. Huh. Explains the whole um torture thing. I'm not gonna tell her. It wasn't his fault. You didn't know. Look, nothing personal. <gasps> no, no, no. That I was wrong. Tell Anna that, that was wrong. Oh, I can't go back. Fuck, I didn't mean to tell on him. Okay, I'm, I'm just not, I'm gonna lie about it. I'm just not gonna tell him on him. Oh, where's the university? Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. I found a hidden chamber in the basement. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. Okay, bye. See ya. May not... the sea protect you. I'm not gonna... I promise I won't. I won't report you. I promise. Hey, Mrs. Anna, you've got some explaining to do. Oh, wait, actually, I have something in the mind palace, I forgot. Sorry, Anna, before I go to you. Uh, ghost friend of Anna. Oh, that didn't go together? Okay, fair enough. Take as much as you need. I thought that would go because the secret chamber and the god being afraid. Be anyway, Hi. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. Charles? It only it's looked like Charles. a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know, but I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What should I know about, uh, what should I do with this poison? Probably take it to the university. We know that. Any idea who the poisoner is? Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see, take what? them. Or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Ku Klux Klan? The Ku Klux Klan. As in the KKK. As in... Okay. Cool. What should I do with the poisoner? What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? He fought like a motherfucking lion, bro. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye. Charlie. I swear to God. Um, I found a holding pen in the storage. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about this. I found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You've found what? A dungeon. 
Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. My mother universe. Now, is. refresh my memory. Ah. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here. Give me your map and I'll show you. I mean, you studied there? You were a student there, I take it. Yes. That's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. All right, bye. See you later. I mean, in the mainland, there's no... I mean, in's mothers. It's not that I have anything against in's mothers. In's mothers are great. They're cool. They're great. I don't care about in's mothers. But yeah, there's a lot of different stuff between here and the mainland, girl. <clears throat> okay. Okay, ready to that. Uh, the man who broke into their data storage somewhere can see this. Okay, I need to visit the university. Gotcha. University is where? Is this it? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Cool. What? Closed for maintenance. Welcome to to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh. I need to find Professor Westerbrook. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. Tell me about the sloth. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. You have Goodbye. a good day. G g Goodbye, sir. Department of Medicine. Oh my god. Okay, it's not that far from here. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> Hey, the Barbara Medicine, Plague Doctor, hey, you know, something, something, something's adding up here. Maybe Charles Reed's gonna put, put past the PI, this is not the right one. Put past the PI and become a MD. <laughs> Wait, that's made a good part. I don't know. Fuck off. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm saying. Where the fuck's the entrance? Oh, this is probably right here. Okay. Hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Uh, the flask. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap, and the other day I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. Didn't I help him with that? Didn't I help, didn't I help the other mustache doctor, help Dr. Westerbrook in this, um, in this, uh, weird thing? Anyway. I can, I can help you out there. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? No. Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes. You solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Righto, righto, righto. Basement, here we come. 
EOD is banned. To all staff and students of the University of Oakmont, henceforth the mention of um, of the everyone's obvious duty organization, also known as the EOD, its um, symbolics, uh, symbolics, current and or past members, as well as exposing their beliefs is forbidden on university grounds on plane or dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of the EOD activity and outreach um, disguised as so-called charity work throughout our university and all our, over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has not reached um, epidemic por uh, proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of the board trustees. Oh, so the EOD is not big fans, huh? Give me a clue in the Mind Palace. Go check that out. Uh, EOD's ranks are swelling. No? Just checking. Yeah, no, just checking. Okay. So the EOD's banned here, yeah? The door won't budge. That's interesting. Okay. Didn't know we're gonna get right into it. Alright. I don't think it is. I honestly don't think it is. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Oh my god. It, it, isn't it that it can't die? Or something like that? Experiment log part 2. March 10th, with the pesky eliminations removed and I can finally continue my experiments unhindered, I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in bio um, biology as we know it. March 15th, I've developed a way to reanimate the dead tissue even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures and perhaps even ourselves? I'll need to find volunteers. <laughs> I'm not gonna volunteer for that, Jeff. <laughs> nope, I don't even like those things. That's why when I saw it, I was like, oh great. I have to find that thing now. Some more. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. March 2nd, oh, part 1. March 2nd, I finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The glunt, uh, the grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd, was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I be um, began a series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exponentially resistant to all uh, the poisonous substance at my disposal, as well as acid and... Um, electrocution. It's shrieking though, it is bound to haunt me. March 5th, last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket and I heard the name inside my head, Stygian Harvester. Okay. Glad he, um... Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Uh, okay, well, that's probably how he got the name into that thing. Yeah, click. <laughs> very much funded, but uh, they couldn't do this thing for me. But okay, whatever. What's this? I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? Fuck it. So very tempting. Do it, Charles. What happened? <gasps> okay, that's cool. 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 Hey, yo, bro. That <laughs> down there, squeaky clean. No more pest or anything. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. Are you actually gonna make me kill Welcome it? to the Department of Medicine. Fuck. The door won't budge. 
much.